So we just got this wine rack. Once you buy it, come back and watch it again and I'll walk you through right now how to assemble this uh, so you understand how this all goes together. All right, so this is the bottom here. So the first thing you're gonna do is take out the side screws. The screws are already in the rack, which does make it handy. You're gonna unscrew both of those and then you're gonna grab the square and the square you're gonna find the wall side, which is this. And you're gonna know it's the wall side because it's going to have the screw hole and then the um, like slide up. So you want this on the bottom because you're gonna put the screw in, the head in and slide up. So it's gonna sit tighter on the wall. So you know that this is the wall side. So this is gonna be the back of it. And I'm gonna take it, just check to see if there's a front and back on this and there is not, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. So I'm gonna just say this is the back, and I'm gonna take the screws I just unscrewed and then run them back through this, and then back into the shelf itself and tighten them down. I do the same on the other side. And it does come with a little Allen wrench, so you're able to use that to help tighten the screws down. And one thing you wanna make sure you're doing is you're gonna leave the screws a little bit loose, just like this, so it's a little wobbly, because you're gonna have to add all the shelves in before you tighten them down. So we're just gonna make this a little loose. And then I'm gonna grab the next shelf, which is this flat black one here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna unscrew the screws from the side. This one's a little tight, so I'll use the wrench to start it. Now I'll unscrew it, pull it out, just like that. And depending how you're doing it with how many people, it might be easier to adjust the way it's sitting on the ground. So I'll show you how to do it with one person. So with a couple people, you can keep it up in the air like this. But we're going to do all of one side first, and then we'll do all of the other. That will make it easier for us to install it. We're just gonna unscrew the screw all the way. It's a little stuck because they are painted screws. Just have to work with it to get it out. And it is all metal, so it's black. Looks like power coated metal, so that is nice. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down like this. And that will make my life easier putting the shelf in place. So I'm gonna line it up here. I'm gonna start with the bomb screw, push it all the way through and line it up with the bomb hole and start threading that in, just hand tight. And then I'm gonna do the next one up, same way. Just kind of hand tight again. Might need to wiggle it around to get it how you want like that. All right, now I'm going to do the next one, which is this open square or rectangle, actually. I'm going to unscrew the screws. Same thing again on both sides. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to do the same thing where I screw them into the side piece and then into this. Just take some moment to unscrew them. Right, once they're all unscrewed, get this one out. I'm gonna do the same thing, so push it through. Okay, find the screw head, then start it, finger tight again. Sometimes it's easier just to lift it up from the carpet slightly. All right, there we go, finger tight. Same thing on the top one. I just do it finger tight. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is do the other side. So I'm gonna jump ahead because it's the same process as this side and then I'll show you what the end result is. Now that all, it's all assembled, this is what it looks like. So you have a spot here to set bottles that are larger or maybe not round. Then you could slide round wine bottles right in here and then wine glasses at the bottom. So overall, it looks really nice. It's really sturdy and also comes with hardware to be able to mount it onto the wall. So overall, really nice, high quality wine rack that I'm really impressed with. If you're looking for something like this, I highly suggest checking this out.